Everything around us is made up of atoms. An atom is the smallest unit of an element that retains the property of that element. In other words, if I have one atom of copper, it will behave the same as a large piece of copper, made up of millions of copper atoms. All the known elements of the universe are represented on the periodic table of elements. In order for something to be considered an element, it can contain only one type of atom. For example, a piece of gold can only be considered elemental gold if it contains nothing but gold atoms. If we mix even one atom of silver into it, it is no longer an element, but a mixture. A mixture, if you remember, is two or more substances physically combined. So if you put gold atoms and silver atoms together and stir them up, I have a mixture. A compound is different from a mixture. A compound occurs when two or more atoms are chemically combined. This means that rather than just being stirred together, they are actually connected. A bond is formed between the two atoms. So how do we keep it all straight? Well, an atom is only one piece. It's single, and it represents a specific element. If you have several atoms, but they are all the same kind of atom, this is still considered an element. Elements can be made from atoms that are free or combined, as long as they're all the same kind. A compound, however, contains two or more types of atoms that are bonded together, as you see in this picture. As long as all of the compounds are the same, it's considered a pure substance. A mixture contains two or more types of substances that are not combined, but just physically in the same space, as you see here with the red element and the white element. And this is a mixture of two different compounds. So now tell me, are my dogs a mixture or a pure substance?